If you ever wanted to feel what it's like to be Valve, this is it, but in smaller scale, because Leadify obviously doesn't have all the data. But it basically allows you to check different trends and metas based on performance metrics, so let's do just that, right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24-7, you can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars, and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. As you probably already know, Leadify is a performance tracking service to see how well you played, which also spits out detailed information about your every match. This video is not sponsored by Leadify, even though it sounds like it is. I'm only here for a public data library. There are a few things in here that I really wanted to show you. Also notice the date range, with the latest date range being April. This is before Valve started taking, well, the fight against cheaters for reals. And so I'm very much looking forward to the May month data range. The first graph we'll start with is the map rank distribution in Premiere. By going through every single map, you'll notice there isn't a single supreme or global elite player in the game. The highest ranked player in April was alone and got Legendary Eagle Master on Mirage. Big surprise. No, not really, a lot of people have already complained about it. Now this graph, the performance metric tool, has a lot of great metrics, but honestly this video would take forever to make if we cover all of them, so I'm going to focus on spotting cheaters. And funny enough, it's very easy to do. By changing the access to time to damage, which is measured in milliseconds, you'll notice that all of the highest rated players have between 0 and 100 milliseconds of response time. But the funny thing is, if you go over these, you can see that we're talking about even lower numbers. With this tells me is that the better cheater will have a higher rating since their aimbots react faster. Another thing from the same graph that just makes the picture more clear, at least for April once again, is that if you look at smokes or any utility thrown per game, all of the high rated superhumans end up having like zero utility thrown. I suppose they're too busy shooting everybody in the head so nades doesn't matter. Also what is their favorite weapon? Well this other graph of kill distribution by weapon shows us that if you select 25k rating or above, more than 60% will use the scout. Now we know that what we're seeing here is also something that Valve is able to see on their end, and they probably have more advanced metrics. Of course, they know how bad things are, but the question is, what are they going to do? And the answer to that is, well, probably going on right now. Hopefully in May, we'll discover a new positive trend. Now, at the end of April, post date range, they added Dust 2 and replaced it with Overpass. And we can see here in the graph of the most played maps in Premiere that Dust 2 is definitely leading the charge. Now, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily because it's a popular map, even though it helps, but it's likely a combination of that and just the overall hype around a map pool change. Keep in mind that the change was made at the end of April. So this graph would only show a few days in the range. But before the Dust 2 update with Overpass, we know is that Overpass was not the least played map, but certainly down there trying its best to stay away from Anubis. Even with Dust 2 in the map pool, Anubis is still down there, which says it all. It's the least popular map in Premiere and probably the entire game. But still, Overpass wasn't doing so well either, and it's a little bit easier to understand Valve's decision. They also probably wanted Anubis to stay for other reasons. And if we look at Vertigo, which was the map most pointed their finger at, it's actually doing quite well, pre and post Dust2 update. Now in May, we might see a slight change in popularity of Dust2, we'll just have to wait and see. And speaking of maps, every time I ask the question if a map is CT or T sided, everybody gives a different answer. This shows why. All of the maps are very well balanced. Funny enough, Vertigo seems to be the most balanced map, and the most T-sided map in Premiere across all ratings and regions is Anubis, which also happened to be the least popular map. And the opposite for CT-sided maps are Mirage and Nuke. I'm surprised to see Mirage here since I feel like every time I play CT side and I'm holding B, we always end up losing A. And this graph for which team wins most pistol rounds also shows a very clear pattern of Glocks being superior, which is not that strange since W Gaming is superior. And if you ever wanted to know how long a Premier game usually lasts, well, 50% of all the games last for about 30 to 40 minutes. But certain games can last up to an hour, so prepare for that as well. I think it's a little bit naive to assume that the game will be over in 20 minutes, which seems to be something a lot of people think. What's interesting with this graph as well is if you bump the rating between 20 to 25k, we start seeing shorter games, possibly because of superhumans entering the game and players just wanting to finish it early or something. If you found any other interesting trends or metrics in here, please share them in the comments. I'll link it down below so you can check it out. Thanks for watching. Peace.